Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at petty things adults have done. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. In Cub Scouts, we were doing the Pinewood Derby. I worked really hard on my car. My dad helped, of course. I had already won the first three rounds and before the final round, one of the dads of the other kids picked up my car to hand it to me. It slipped out of his hand and broke the wheels when it hit the floor. <gasps> I'm convinced it was not an accident and he was sabotaging my car so his kid could win. Wait, did the other kid win though? Oh my gosh, I would actually be so pissed. I'm about to throw hands. <laughs> if that happened to me as a kid, I would know never to trust adults. <laughs> Seriously. Jeez, how dare you? When I was like nine or 10, I was rollerblading home from my mom's work, right? And I'm heading down 4th Street and I find something like $16 on the ground. A 10, a 5, and a single, just laying there on the sidewalk next to some outdoor seating at a cafe. Being the obnoxiously nice kid that I was, I pick it up and kind of look around, wondering if anybody lost their money. That's when the lady in the weird sweater vest comes around the corner. We make eye contact, and I tell her I found this money, and she goes, huh, let me see it. And my naive butt is like, oh yeah, that makes sense, she's a grown up, she can sort this out. She looks around hands me the single back, puts her finger to her mouth in a shh gesture. Then she just goes, never to be seen again. She, 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 how dare she. She takes the $15 and leaves the kid with a dollar. She taught the kid to steal, basically. Oh my gosh. My mum asked if I wanted to play 52 card pickup while my friends were over. I asked her what it was and she said I either want to play or I don't. I told her I didn't want to play anything if I didn't know what it was. She got visibly irritated and threw the cards on the ground and said, this is 52 card pick up, pick them up. She then threatened to ground me as she watched me pick the cards up and put them away nicely. I think it was worse because my friends were watching. What the heck? So it wasn't even a game. It was just her controlling her kid. What in the world is this? When I was in like fifth grade, I didn't put a book cover on my math book. It required cutting up a paper bag, something similar. Oh my gosh, I missed that. We couldn't really afford the fancy ones and I just never did it. So my math teacher took away my math book so I couldn't do homework or follow along in class. What is this? I can't even. What? I don't get it. Why are you mad over a book cover as an adult? I mean, like, if you really wanted the kid to have a book cover on the book, just tell them to do it. You know what I mean? You don't have to take away their book. Just tell them and be like, oh, um, can you cover your book with a book cover? I'll give you this paper. I'll give it to you. You can do it now. You know, don't take away the book. They can't even fix their mistake now if you take away the book. Oh my gosh, some people. Grounded me for leaving a hanger on the dryer. Then extended it for reading while grounded. Then further for sleeping when told I can't read. Wow. I've never gotten grounded before. I don't think it's an Asian thing, is it? <laughs> I don't know, actually. In elementary school, I used to talk to the lunch lady every day. And then one day, I didn't say hi. She came to my lunch table and told me I was fake, phony and a few other things and stop talking to me. I still don't understand what her problem was. Huh? <laughs> How do you get mad at a kid for not saying hi to you? Maybe she thought she had a connection with the kid. Had a teacher in kindergarten threaten to expel me because I was sick and didn't show up the day before. She put me on the spot in front of the whole class telling me not to lie and that she'd call the principal. I cried in front of the whole class not knowing what to do. Apparently, she wanted to win some attendance award and thought confronting a child was a good idea. Like, bruh, I was five. She wanted to win an attendance award. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the one thing I never wanted to win as a kid. You know, our school gave out attendance award, so if you were there every single day at school, you would get one at the end of the year. Announced to you at an assembly, alright? I never wanted to get that. Like, I would be away on one day just to avoid that award because I always got it, okay? I was so embarrassed about getting it, but I always got it because, like, I always went to school, you know? And I guess I was just never sick at school, so I was always there. So, 
to avoid getting it, I would always be away on like the last day of school or something, okay? Because I didn't want to get it. I didn't want to be like, congratulations, Ellen, for always being at school 24-7, 365 days. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously you're not 24-7, you know, I'm just exaggerating. But like, it felt like that, you know? It felt like the award was telling me that I'm such a goody two-shoes. And I don't want people to know I'm a goody two-shoes. <laughs> Jeez. And I was shy back then too, so like, I didn't want to go up and get an award and be like, yes, I was at school every single day. Hmm. <laughs> and for this story, why is it the kid's fault? for being away. It's not their fault, you know? They're not supposed to be at school when they're sick. Jeez. Wait, why is this even a thing for teachers though? Like, I understand if it's a thing for like students, right? Because that would make them want to be at school every day. But like, why is it a thing for teachers that if all of the students are there, they get the award? Shouldn't it be the students getting the award? Why is the teacher taking credit for that? I don't get it. That's weird. I got in trouble in sixth grade for reading during homeroom. Homeroom was like a random 30 minute period to work on homework, but I always did my homework the night before, so I would just quietly read. For some reason, my homeroom teacher hated it. One day, she just yelled at me for always reading in her class and told me to do my homework. I told her all of my homework was done. She told me to prove it, so I showed her all of my completed homework. Then she confiscated my book and sent me to the principal office for being disrespectful. I'm so tired of reading about teachers like this. Like, why do they get mad for no reason? Like, she should have not been mad once the kid showed them the homework was done. She should have been like, oh, oh my bad. I thought you were just neglecting your homework. That was my bad. You're really going to get mad at a kid for completing his homework? This is why it's important to have good teachers because you're around your teachers so much, okay? Think about it. You're at school like, what is it? Eight hours a day. I don't remember, man. Was it six hours a day? <laughs> but anyways, my point is you're at school like a quarter of your day, okay? And you spend like eight hours sleeping. So basically, you spend like a lot of time at school facing your teachers. And that's the kind of influence they're going to get. They're going to learn lots from their teachers, you know? If you're going to be like this, man, some kids are going to turn out crazy, okay? <laughs> like, you're going to tell a kid they're wrong for completing something they were supposed to do. Mm. Mm. My aunt was unpleasant or weird with everyone, but always particularly cold to me. One day when I was about 14, she took me aside and said she'd held a grudge against me because of my name. She had wanted to call her first daughter that name, but my parents had had a child first and used it. She said she tried really hard and had just about forgiven me for it. What the heck? What? So she's going to be mad at everyone for having that name? <laughs> I feel like some people just don't grow up, eh? My swimming teacher promised me a candy bar if I jumped off the board when I couldn't swim, and when I did, they said they forgot but I saw them eating one in the lounge. I was five and I was betrayed. <gasps> what the heck? How do you promise a kid something and not fulfill the promise? On the wedding day of my mom's third wedding, I sat in my room alone crying because it was hard, but I made sure to remove myself because I didn't want to upset my mom. When my aunt came to check in on me and saw I was crying, she went and told my mom, my mom went out of her way to stop hair and makeup to come into my room for being selfish and trying to ruin her happy day, even though I purposefully tried not to look upset in front of her in the first place. Oh my gosh, the aunt and the mom both don't have common sense. Jeez. Ah. <sighs> oh. That's tiring, man. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.